Hello traders, well, well, <laughs> 2018 started with a bang and we are off to the races once again. It was the first time since 1964 the S&P 500 closed the first trading day at a new all-time high. The Nasdaq closed above the 7,000 points level for the first time ever, driven by gains in Apple, APL, Facebook, FB. Amazon AMZN and Alphabet, this is Google GOOGL. Now the technology index, this is the XRT, the ETF that tracks uh, this index, um, added, th this group added 1.4% yesterday following a 37% surge in 2017. That made it the best performing S&P 500 sector last year. So the action was so good yesterday that it feels you know, a bit frothy, but, but, but money managers are, are worried about underperforming out of the gate, so they were inclined to do some chasing. It is very favorable for stock pickers that are in the right sectors and in the right names. So, for example, the Chinese stocks um, yesterday were on fire right off the gate. A great action we saw yesterday with many of them posting substantial gains. Take, for example, Sina. WB, Wuba, YY, Momo, Baba, and that is, you know, just to mention a couple of them. Lots of hot pockets of uh, great momentum there, and I'm going to put these names on my screens also uh, today. Many investors say that the rally could continue this year with help from um, the recently approved US tax overhaul that is anticipated to boost profits as well as the economy. Now, I don't expect the kind of moves we saw last year, but as long as monetary policy stays um, the way it is, my view is stocks are going to have a decent year and fiscal policy has become stimulative as well, um, given uh, the recent tax bill. So my best guess is uh, the first quarter or half of the year can be okay as a continuation of last year. Now, I want to talk with you today about a very important subject I call the trap of 2017, that, you know, so many traders and investors got trapped into it and how to avoid it in 2018. Very, very important. The thing that has been most notable about the market action last year isn't the sizable gains in the indices but the complete lack of volatility. For the first time in history, you know, the S&P 500 and other major indices have managed gains every single month of the year. During the course of the year, there barely has been a pullback worthy of the name, you know, that the upside has been relentless. And those who have waited for dips to buy have had to settle for, you know, a short pause in the uptrend instead. What is particularly interesting is that many pundits had predicted that the election of Donald Trump would lead to a surge in volatility and a number of plunges, you know, as his uh, impulsiveness and blunt style scared the market. So as we look ahead right now into 2018, the big question is, how much longer can this trend continue? The contrarian bears will know that sentiment is, giddy in, in, is at giddy levels and uh, we have seldom seen it uh, at that levels and, and that the potential for higher rates could be a problem. And by the way, today we are going to get the protocols of the Federal Reserve f of December meeting today at um, eight o'clock, uh, two o'clock Eastern time. You have to know that because the volatility is going to to surge uh, two hours uh, before the close of the bell, the, the closing bell. The pools have heard all those compelling arguments before, but there has been one very significant thing missing the price action, you know, the price action fails to confirm the pessimistic view. The trend rolls over the bears and those who dare to call it up. 
Now, I don't try to predict the future, but it is hard to imagine that the market can continue in the new year without at least one sizable pullback. It likely would be a positive if one did occur, you know, because it would help, you know, to, to, to make a little bit of refreshment, shuffling the deck once again and reduce the complacency and offer some better entry points for traders and investors. Now, fourth quarter earnings are going to be the next big trading catalyst. And we are going to hear about that in another two um, weeks. And it wouldn't be, you know, a bad thing from a technical standpoint if we had a dip first. Now, with the new year upon us, it's always, you know, a good idea to reflect on our trading and, and what we'll work on in this year and the year ahead. And by far the most important thing for any trader is mindset. If you don't have the right emotional state when you are trading, it will undermine, you know, everything else you do. So as we are doing right now, the first steps into 2018, and that bring me back uh, to the subject we are talking about, the main question on my mind is whether investors will continue to make the same mistake that they made in 2017, the trap that caught so many traders into it. The biggest and most common investing mistakes mistake of 2017 was thinking that Donald Trump was going to trigger a substantial market decline. Now, in many cases, it was caused by political bias, but even fans of Donald Trump keep wondering when there would be, you know, a news event that would cause the market to, to, stum to stumble. Despite intense criticism of President Trump by the media, the market has not reacted negatively to anything he has said or done for longer than, you know, maybe one day or two. And that can't last forever. It just isn't the nature of markets to, to go in one direction for, for too long. However, it is that anticipation of disaster that has hurt so many folks this uh, past year. The ones that keep thinking and hoping that there will be a negative response have paid a huge price for that pessimism. So it will be extremely unusual if the market trends up as steadily in 2018 as it did in 2017. But rather than focus on what can go wrong, it is far more important for us as traders to focus on the timing. When you think too much about causation, you tend to engage in data mining. It is better to focus on timing instead. So look for market direction clues um, in the price action, not in the headlines. So, you know, it is a tough pill to swallow for many, but un underestimating the market response to Donald Trump was the easiest mistake to make um, this past year. And the lesson here is a very clear one. Don't let your political views or pass, in fact, the way you approach the market, only the charts, only the price action. This is our leader. I want to wish everyone a happy new year. I don't know what will happen in 2018, but I do know that if we work hard at it, we can make it our most profitable year of trading ever. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in our next video. Bye bye.